Hey, hi, Gamer Maniac and Dino Lovers. Long time no see, oh yeah, now is September again. Oh, this was one of the activities for the independence competition last August at my workplace. Well, it was quite busy and the hype was fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, in the last few weeks, I've been addicted to playing one of the zombie games, namely Undawn, where I made the main character here, namely Brooklyn from Camp Cretaceous, who doesn't know this series which first appeared on Netflix. This is Brooklyn and a bag that I made myself. The model is similar to the one in the game. Well, even though it's a bit bigger than in the game, it doesn't matter, right? And here too, the mainstay weapon is the MPX submachine gun. Cool, isn't it? Thanks for those who are still loyal to this channel, and sorry if now the review and unboxing are rare, but for the 900 subscribers who are still holding on, this time we will be unboxing again, yeah! Okay, without further ado, please welcome Buck, the Cinetyrannus Casuensis or Tyranno Chinese. Here it is, Cinetyrannus casuensis. In the previous video I also discussed about this dinosaur, together with Cynoceratops, so this time we will discuss some details about this dinosaur, and there is the latest info from the world, Jurassic World Alive. Yeah, we'll discuss that later, okay? Here it is, the back view, where we can see from the figure, Cinetyrannus, where here we can move its tail and head, and there are additional accessories inside too. Look at that, there's Chris the Stegosaurus, and the rest is just a few words, so let's just unbox it. This is Cinetyrannus casuanesis, a theropod and meat-eating dinosaur that has a unique protrusion on its head. The shape is similar to a chicken's comb, only it is hard enough to become a fossil. And its tail can move, this dinosaur can wag its tail. The tail has several parts that can be moved, so the tail can swing left and right, and on the body there are two buttons. This seemed to move his head to look, and it looks like next to it. Let's try, will the tail swing? Okay, this is it. Let's try it. Wow, look at that. It's really cool and the tail can swing like that. Wow, this is awesome. Did you see that this tail can swing like that? And look, wow, Mattel's so awesome. This is awesome, this neck can move like that, and jaw can open if this neck move. In the legs we can move, and rotate like this. Wow, this can rotate up to 360 degrees. And look, Cinetyrannus has a dark and light green color, and red in some parts such as the tail and around the head and crest, and there is yellow around the jaw. Okay, before there was Cynoceratops and now we have Cinetyrannus actually at 900 subscribers, I want to review about Giganotaurus, unfortunately it was in the green basket, 
the item ran out even though it was already a transaction, so it failed. But fortunately, in Toys Kingdom there is still Cinetyrannus and there is a 20% discount for every purchase of Dino Trackers. Pretty good until the end of September, right? Okay, here are additional parts or accessories, which we can attach to the buck. So let's open it. Wow! What is this? It looks like a device attached to a raptor. Is this Simon's technology? Or in Gens which has been updated? Let's try to install. Is this fit with him? Okay, here it is camp, doesn't seem too difficult to put on. Finally done, wow, look at this so awesome. Wow, this is amazing, look, the eyes seem to be closed, and it looks like this is a remote control device, so that this dinosaur can be directed according to its master's wishes, interesting. And it looks like Buck is the dinosaur that they managed to turn into a Dino Patrol. For the details it's pretty cool, the shoulders are full rubber, quite elastic, and some of the details are like buttons and weather between the lighting, the camera, or the heat sensor system which is around the eyes this might function to find out the state of enemies or friends while on patrol or hunt. The locking part is under the neck. Pretty cool for a medium-sized dinosaur with the latest technology on its body. still functions well, and the tail can still swing freely. And now, Buck is ready to hunt and catch dinosaurs that are loose and rampaging in the middle of the city, with Brooklyn as his master. Hehehe, <laughs> this is really awesome! Okay guys, here is the DNA code from Cinetyrannus casuanesis, and like I said before, there's something new from Jurassic World Alive. So here it is, the newest event in Jurassic World Alive, where the collaboration between Mattel and Jurassic World Alive, to bring T-Rex Code 93 to life. This is one of the T-Rex from Michael Crichton's original novel, where the original color of the Tyrannosaurus was red, with black and yellow markings on the lower jaw. So the mission is to collect the DNA of this T-Rex by fighting in the Isla event area. You must be able to survive all the dinosaur attacks in this event.
this move, make me remember on T-Rex in Jurassic World the game at max attack, or 8 attack, this is quite convincing that T-Rex 93 is a reliable fighter besides Rexy. But this movement in Jurassic World Fact and in Jurassic World Alive will be different again. This is one example of the movement T-Rex 93. The movement is almost the same as the movement Terry T-Rex from Dinosaur King. And maybe it's one of the references for the Ludia and Jamsity team. Okay guys, I think that's the end of this video for now, and I hope my friends are entertained and not bored. Don't forget to help like and subscribe. See ya in the next video. Bye!